quantum number L is equal to one, you are going to have these double shape the space around nucleus, the nucleus is on the center where these electrons are scattered. And you're going to see that you have three of these electron cloud shape, depending on their orientation in a space. So the value of M we said is equal to minus L going to zero, going to plus L. We said L equal to one, so we have minus one, we have zero and the maximum value is plus one. So this is going to make one of these p orbitals. This is going to make another one and this is going to make the third one. So do you see, because you have three options for magnetic quantum number, this is telling you p orbitals, they are always coming as triplet sisters. If I go to the next slide, we're looking at probability of finding electrons in p orbitals. It looks like it starts from zero, starts from zero probability. At the nucleus is as we are approaching, as we are going away, it becomes to a maximum. And then it starts dropping. So there is a certain point that you have the maximum possibility around the nucleus. It looks like it's like 2.8 maybe, or near three times 10 to minus 10 meters from the nucleus. And these are the three possibility of these p orbitals. They are px, py, and pz. px is the one that x axis is symmetry axis of the orbital. So this px. py is where y axis is the symmetry axis of this orbital. And pz is where z axis is the symmetry axis of the electron cloud of p orbital. And nodal plane means you can't find this electron inside this plane. All right, and if I go to the next slide, you're seeing that if L is equal to two, magnetic quantum number could be minus two, one unit higher, minus one, zero, one unit higher than zero is plus one, and another unit higher than plus one. So it starts for a minus L, L is equal to two. It goes all the way to maximum number of plus L. So do you see you have got one, two, three, four, five different electron cloud shape. And these are called 3D X2 minus Y2 and all these different names. For five, P orbitals, I'm sorry, for five D orbitals, they come together as quintuplet sister. And they all have same amount of energy. And then if I go to the next slide, you see P's always come as a triplet. And these are always coming as quintuplet. These are all geometrical shape around the nucleus. And these shapes are obtained by solving wave equations for electrons, which is telling you one electron is inside or maximum of two electrons is inside these geometrical shape. Which is telling us because electrons are clouds of negative charge, this could be the shape of the electron clouds. 
around the nucleus. So remember we said when L is equal to one, M of L magnetic quantum number could be minus one. One unit larger, zero. And one unit larger, plus one. And plus one, because the value of L was one is the maximum value for magnetic quantum number. That's why we know there are three P orbitals. And for D orbitals, we said for D orbitals, L is equal to two. So M, L equal to two. So that simply means M of L starts from minus L, which is minus two, one unit larger, minus one, one unit larger, zero, another unit larger, one, and another unit is two, and that's plus L, that's the maximum value. So do you see when we are dealing with L equal to two, we come up with five different space around the nucleus. And these are the shapes of these spaces. How do you get this? By solving the Schrodinger equation, by solving the wave equation. The same way when you solve equation for a line, you get a line. Well, this is a mathematical formula which has more constant than a line. So it will give you the shape, the shape of this space around nucleus, where you can have the probability of finding electrons inside this space. And if L is equal to three, what are possibilities for magnetic quantum number? Minus three, minus two, one unit larger minus one, one unit larger zero, one unit larger plus one, one unit larger plus two, and another unit larger plus three. This is plus L, that's the maximum, that's where you, you stop. So how many orbital should we expect in F sub shell one? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. And that you see the shape of these spaces around nucleus, where you have the probability of finding one or maximum two electrons. Every orbital can have maximum of two electrons. And you have got seven orbitals. So total of 14 electrons, maximum of 14 electrons in F subshell. All right, so if you don't have to memorize this, that's just for your interest. These are showing different value of magnetic quantum number. This is the geometrical shape you get. This is the shape of the orbital you get for M equal to zero, M equal to plus one and minus one, M equal to plus two, and minus two, magnetic quantum number plus three and minus three. So these are the seven options. Usually the number of options are equal to two L plus one. So two times three plus one is equal to seven. For L equal to one, again, number of orbitals are going to be two L plus one. So two times, one plus one. That's why you get three p orbitals, px, py, and pz. All right. Next, we would like to talk about magnetic quantum number. 
again, remember we said electrons have dual property. They are particle and waves. So if we assume, if we assume they are particle, you have got this electron, which is spinning around its own axis in clockwise direction. You might remember we said movement of electrical charge always produces a magnetic field. So this is magnetic field, which is the result of the spinning of electron around its own axis. So I'm going to show this representing the magnetic field going from south to north of this magnet. If electron is spinning counterclockwise, opposite direction, the magnet, the magnetic field is going to change its field, direction of field. It's going to go this way. So this is the direction of magnetic field. So do you see when two electrons inside the same orbital are spinning oppositely, the magnetic field is opposite, and you know opposite magnets attract each other, right? If you take north and south of a magnet, they attract each other. Again, by solving Schrodinger equation, the only possible value for a spin quantum number is plus half or minus half. These are the only two possibilities. Plus and minus is referring to the direction of a spin. The spin quantum number, which we call it M of S, can have two value either plus half or minus half. If this is plus half, the other one is minus half. All right, let me go to the next slide. So now, can I say electrons with the same value of N they are in a shell, right? If this is a nucleus and I have got one S here, I have got two S and 2p, can I say these two? They have same value of principal quantum number, which is two. So they are in the same shell. Electrons which have same principal quantum number and same angular quantum number. they make subshell. Example, in N equal to two, I have L equal to one. And you saw L equal to one is going to have three P orbitals. So we say P subshell. When we say P subshell, we're talking about three orbitals. If n is equal to two, there are three p orbitals which belong to shell number two. And orbitals, when we have two electrons with the same principal quantum number, same angular quantum number, and the same magnetic quantum number, they make one orbital. So two electrons inside an orbital have the same N, same L, same M of L. That means they share three quantum number. Equal, the only difference between them is the spin number. So let's do this problem. How many electrons can an orbital take? As we said in an orbital, 
we can have two different electrons with opposite spin, plus half and minus half. Everything else is the same, except the spin number. And these are the same. This is plus half. The other electron, same quantum number, except the spin is opposite. So you can't find two electrons in an atom which have the same four quantum number. That they might share the same three quantum number, spin number must be different. So an orbital can hold only two electrons and these two electrons have opposite spin. How many 2p orbitals are in an atom. So two is telling you these electrons are, or these orbitals are in second energy shell. P is telling you the value of angular quantum number is one. And if L is equal to one, magnetic quantum number is minus L to plus L, minus one, zero and plus one. So you have three orbitals. That's the answer to this question. And your PX, PY, PZ. Let me do one more problem. How many electrons can be placed in 3D subshell? 3D. What is the meaning of three? It's telling you these subshells are on the third energy shell. And D orbital, L is equal to for D orbital, as we said before. And the value of M, which represents direction of an orbital is minus L, minus two, all the way to plus L. And as you move from left to right, these quantum numbers are increased by one unit, by plus one. So minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, plus two. So what do you see? Do you see five orbitals? And did we say every orbital can take two electrons, so a total of 10 electrons, 